Today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your GPU. This is, works for any GPU at all. Um, all you have to do is follow these steps and you can safely overclock your GPU. It'll increase the FPS in your games. It'll increase overall speed of your computer. So, you know, generally you should do this or try to do this. Um, so if uh, you have a few minutes, just keep watching. I'll make this as quick as possible. Um, no bullshit. So to start, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the description and you're going to go to the links that I posted for MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor. You need to download both of these to continue. Once you've downloaded both of those programs, you're going to open up MSI Afterburner and it's going to look like this. Once you have MSI Afterburner open, you're going to hit the K. When you hit the K, it's going to open up MSI Combustor. You're going to see Combustor open up right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this stress test. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to run a stress test while you're overclocking your GPU so that you're applying pressure to your GPU while setting the settings. This is how you're going to test the limits of your overclock safely without br crashing or destroying your computer or just setting them to a super high you know overclock and you start a game and you fry your GPU you don't want to do that you want to do it like this so it's safe alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna on your combustor here you want to want to set your resolution to the resolution that you're gonna be playing games on so I'm gonna be playing games on 1920 by 1080 and I'm gonna run the stress test now you should leave it full screen um, while you're doing this but I'm just gonna make it smaller just so you can kind of see everything at once here um, so I'm just gonna make it just a little bit smaller just to show you guys kind of everything at once but you should leave it up now this will look here let me reset mine so yours should look something like this your your GPU and if you're unable to select anything on here make sure that your your GPU is selected here uh, if it's not, you have, might have to go to settings and then switch it right here from your AMD Radeon graphics or whatever other graphics to your actual GPU. And then you'll be able to hit everything here. Now, once you're here, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to increase your power limit and your temp limit for your GPU fan. And then you're going to hit the little check mark indi indicating that you want to apply that change. Now. These are perfectly safe to turn up, so you can turn these up as, as high as possible. Now the next step is you're gonna turn up your fan speed. Now you want your GPU temp as low as possible. You can see my GPU temp right now is 65. Um, it's a little high. I'm gonna set my fan speed to around 90 here, and I'm gonna hit the check mark. This is gonna increase the speed of your fan. Like I can hear the speed of my fan increasing right now, but the GPU temp will lower, which is what I'm going for. You can see now the GPU temp's going down a little bit here, which is what I was looking for. Now, this is good. Now that I have my fan set up, now I'm gonna move on to the core clock. Core clock, you're gonna go up in increments of 20. All right, so you're gonna type in 20, press enter, do a check mark. And you're gonna go slow, all right? So I'm gonna watch my, my combustor over here. I'm looking at my speed. My FPS will slowly start going up over time as I do this. Um, but I want to make sure that nothing's lagging over here or freezing. If this lags or freezes, it means you've reached your limit. I'm still going strong here, so now I'm going to go up another 20. So I'm going to go up to 40. And I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit the check mark. Alright, now I'm up to 40. It's still running fine. So I'm going to keep going, right? I'm going to keep adding 20 every time. My limit is 200 when i do 200 and i press and i press the check mark this combustor will freeze that's my indicator to me that i need to go down to 180 okay um so so 180 is technically my limit for my core clock and i i find that by going up in steps of 20 every single gpu is going to be different so your gpu is going to be different from mine so you shouldn't put in 180 and try to have that work you need to go up in the steps that you're going to go up to reach your limit all right mine's 180 so once i figure that out you want to then go 20 below what your limit is 
So if my limit's 180, I want to go 160. Why? Because you should always just prioritize keeping your computer safe and your GPU safe rather than replaying on the max limit all the time. Also, if you're playing a really high intensive GPU game, it may crash if you're at if you're playing right below your limit. So you want to drop it 20 from what your limit is, um, what your max is. So my max is 180. I drop it to 160 just to be safe. Now your core clock is where you move on to next. Now this one, it's usually going to be a lower number. So you want to do really slow. So you want to do 10 increments. So I would start with 10 increments, wait for the combustor, watch the combustor. And then from there you can move on and up more and more and more. Now my cap for this is 10. If I go to 20, it's okay, but 30 crashes. So I, I go down 10 and then 10 again, down to 10. So 10 is for me is, is where I really can safely leave my clock. All right. So, at this point, you have now overclocked your GPU. It really is that simple. Core voltage here, don't mess with it. It's basically high risk for almost no reward. You don't really get any FPS or increase out of it. Um, it's, it doesn't do anything for you. All it does is you know put you at risk for fucking up your computer if you do it wrong. So don't mess with the core voltage. You're done here. This is all you have to do. So now that you've, you've saved all these settings, there's a couple things that you can do. One, you can hit save, and it's gonna save it to a profile. You can select the profiles over here, and then you can always have multiple profiles. And then the other thing you wanna do is at the top right, there's this little Windows um, icon. This applies it at Windows startup. I would do this if you want to run your overclock at all times. Every time it starts up, the overclock will already be on. You won't have to set this every time. Um, that is it. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you want to make fun of me, drop them down below. Um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Peace.